a lot of people, and, and I get asked this question a lot, and, and people tell, say that uh, the critics of uh, Islam, they say like it's not a region of peace, the, it's not about poverty, it's not about uh, socioeconomic uh, conditions, it is deeply rooted in, in the text, deeply rooted in the religion, and uh, uh, you are just like come from, uh, we just come from a place where it's full of violence, and there's no way to reform unless that you have to reject it. And you, you get faced a lot with this uh, kind of narrative. Uh, yes. And how, how do you respond to that? I think we need to give several answers at the same time. I mean, you and I, uh, I'm assuming it's, it must be very similar. I grew up observing women like my grandmother who were traditional in their own way, but strong and supportive at the same time. It is possible. Um, we, we should refrain from sweeping generalizations. This, this is not helping. We need to look at issues in a more nuanced way. And I am afraid that those, many of those nuances are being lost in this, in this narrative today. So I am critical of you know, those generalizations. However, I am also critical of people who say, well, Islam is, you know, is you know, it's, it's, it's very peaceful, it's just, you know, um, the Western media that distorts it. That is not fair either. So what do we do? We need to, first of all, understand the problems. Patriarchy is a universal problem. Domestic violence is a universal problem. We must understand the universality of this. At the same time, we must understand why is it that in some places in the world it is more concentrated, it's more dense. So we can be critical of several things at the same time. I think extremist ideologies breed each other. You know, anti-Western sentiments in the Middle East go hand in hand with Islamophobia elsewhere. Extremist ideologies need each other. Yeah, and uh, thank you. <laughs> if, 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 I, if I may, a lot of people don't, re they think that uh, for the past 1500, uh, 1500 years we've been like having like a straight trajectory on the same path, but like if you look at pictures in the 1950s and 60s and 40s in the yeah. now Afghanistan and now uh, and, and Egypt and uh, places in the Arab world, it has not been like this. I mean, what we see right now is fairly new. I mean, it's been there in the, in the history, of course, yeah. but the out, like the, uh, the, the Al-Qaeda and ISIS and all of that, and, and I think people fail to see that it is politics and money. There are certain countries and monarchies in the world mm -hmm. who breed and who actually feed this through support and through money, and it's the same monarchies that are supported and allies with the United States because they're so addicted to oil. And uh, they... And I, and I always give the example of you have, like, you have crazy people everywhere. I mean, of course, there's, there, there's certain stuff that you can build on, but there's also crazy stuff in everybody's uh, uh, scripture. So if you give the same amount of money and support to the Westboro Baptist Church, let's see what these crazy people will do. So it, it, it's, it, 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 it's just like it's an unopposed mentality that is having this support and money, and I'm sorry to interject because no. it kind of feels, but again, I mean, I think it's obvious that none of us here are like apologists, and we're trying to make like a fair, uh, a, a fair argument.